Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to go over the 2016 Shasta Revere 29 SK. This is going to be a high-end rear bunk model. You're going to have a huge full extension slide, a ton of amenities. Let's go ahead and start on the front end. So I want to talk about right here, we're going to have our two 30-pound propane tanks. So that we're going to have a total of 60 pounds of propane. You're also going to have this propane cover, nice easy access right here. Just uh, undo the thumb screws, lift this up, and you can get to those tanks. Right behind that, we're going to have a nice high-rise diamond plating. That's going to help protect against any rocks or anything that get thrown up by your vehicle to make sure they're not going to chip up your beautiful front end. Also, as we take a look over to the side, you'll see we're going to have a light that is going to be perfect for hooking up or disconnecting at night. As we move around to the side, let's take a look at this pass-through storage. It's going to have a nice finished floor in there and huge pass-through, folks, nice and wide. You not only do you have access on this side and the other side of the trailer, you're also going to have access underneath the bed, but I'll show you more of that when we go inside. As we look down below, you'll see you're going to have scissor jacks. You're going to have four, one on each corner, which are going to help stabilize the unit. Nice and easy to crank up and down. And then here, we're going to have our nice large power awning. So very large power awning. It's going to span almost the entire length of the trailer. Uh, great thing about power awning is it's super simple, one person operation. Touch a button, it rolls out. Touch a button, it rolls back in. You see a storm rolling in, no problem. You don't have to run outside and you know hurry up in a, a, a frenzy and a panic to try to get it back in. You just touch a button, five seconds later, it's in, you're good to go. Also underneath, you're going to have an LED strip. The thing I love about the Revere LED strip, it's not going to be some crazy color. It's a natural lighting color, nice and easy. Uh, that way when you're sitting out outside, it's just going to be a, a very enjoyable um, experience and uh, setting for you. If you take a look underneath that, you'll have your two outside speakers. That's going to be controlled by your multimedia center inside. So you'll have two speaker zones inside. You'll have the one out here. The great thing about that, though, is if you do have any kind of mobile device like a cell phone, maybe an iPad, iPod, you are able to control that right out here. So you can put all your chairs out, have your awning out, you know, sit here, select your music, play some Pandora, all right here from the comfort of your RV. Getting into the coach is an absolute breeze. You're going to have three steps and you'll have this nice easy grab rail right here which is going to help assist in going ahead on in. Also right here you're going to have a nice big window. You will have a dinette right there so that way if you want to sit, eat breakfast, maybe drink some coffee, you get a perfect view out that window to your campsite. Underneath here, um, you're going to have spread axle system. Spread axle is great. It's going to help reduce sway naturally. I still recommend getting sway bars, but that is going to help your towability. <clears throat> also, you're going to have easy lube axles on here, and you're going to get nitrogen filled tires, which are going to help <coughs> improve your towability and the longevity of your tires. Right here, you're going to have electrical outlets. So if you do want to plug in a uh, TV or electric skillet, you are able to do so. Second entrance here, again, three steps. <coughs> and to go along with your electric skillet, you do have a propane quick connect right there. So you can plug in uh, a grill and you can use your 60 pounds of propane instead of having to bring the little Coleman bottles. Right on back here, we are going to have a outside shower. This is going to have access to both hot and cold. Perfect if you want to wash off the dog, may wash your feet off after the beach. You're also going to have a full bumper on there. As we come around here, if the front storage wasn't enough, they're going to give you a second one, which is absolutely wonderful. So you have plenty of storage here. Also, here's ca a cab uh, cable and satellite hookup. Then this is going to be your black tank flush valve. Now we can just screw a hose in right there and it'll spray out your black tank for you. All right, folks, gorgeous outside. Let's go take a look at the beautiful and spacious inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Shasta Revere 29 SK. As you can see, very nice open floor plan. We have a huge slide here. And also, we're going to have a recessed seven foot ceiling. So that way, you just get a ton of room. You're not going to feel closed in and claustrophobic. Also, when you have higher ceiling heights, it allows you to get higher slide heights. So, I'm, for a reference, I'm six foot, can easily walk in and out without having to worry about bumping my head on the slide, which is always a bonus if you're a taller person. Here we're going to have a nice big dinette, perfect for the family to sit around, that way you can enjoy meals together, maybe you know sit here and enjoy a cup of coffee, and you have this huge window right here that you're able to look out, and that's going to go right to your campsite, which is exactly where you want it. 
Also, on both sides here, you are gonna have drop downs for easy access into the storage. That way you don't have to lift the cushion up in order to access it. Of course, you always can if you want, but this is just nice and easy. Also, your table here is going to uh, go ahead and come out and it'll sit on these rails, which is going to form another bed. So if you do have additional guests and you want a sleeping space, not a problem. Put the table down, boom, fill in with the cushions, you're good to go. Here we're gonna have our entertainment center. So you have storage up top, you can see there, storage all the way across the top, extra lighting, which is always great. You're also gonna have additional storage here. Now here's gonna be our place for our TV backer, so you can go ahead and mount a TV here if you want an LED mount, or this countertop is plenty large where you can just set the TV here if you don't wanna mount it on the wall. You will notice we're gonna have some audio video cables here. That is going to be connected to our multimedia center. So I touched on this a little bit when we were outside. Uh, again, this will have different speaker zones. You can see the speakers in here, as well as I showed you the speakers outside. But this is going to be a radio, a CD player, as well as a DVD player. So if you wanna watch a movie, great. Go ahead and throw it in, and it'll pop up right there. That way your little ones can watch Frozen or whatever else they wanna see. To the side of that here, Great, great pantry storage. Take a look at that. We have huge pantry storage all the way up and down. So nice and deep, perfect place for all of our essentials, all our goodies. And then you're gonna have additional storage there underneath the multimedia center. All right, in the back, we're gonna have our bathroom. So in the 29 SK, you do have a second door, which is gonna lead right into the bathroom. That's great. That way, if the kiddos need to come in and use the bathroom, they don't have to traipse dirt through the entire trailer. You can see here, we're gonna have our tub shower. Nice, large tub shower. Um, you know, tubs are always gonna be good, especially if you're camping with little ones. Of course, you'll have some shelves in there. And then up top, you're gonna have a nice big skylight, which is gonna give you some extra standing room and let in a lot of natural light. Of course, here we'll have our mirrored medicine cabinet. You have storage behind that. Underneath, you're gonna have a plug-in as well as some sink, storage underneath that. And directly across, of course, you'll have your stool with plenty of leg room. Also, you'll notice you're gonna have nice doors on here, these beautiful white doors. Um, you know, that's a definitely a great feature to have, really helps it pop, and really blends well with the, the dark, uh, dark colors. You have two double-sized bunks back here, very large bunks. The thing I like about this is they're gonna be rounded and they're not gonna be cut off. You're not gonna lose a ton of space. These are gonna be full, uh, full double bunks. You'll also have a window, both top and bottom, as well as lights. And just to kind of show you another piece of quality, they could have left this, you know, just kind of ragged, not trimmed it out, but they did. They put this uh, leather look on here, just looks really nice. And they, they put those touches throughout the entire coach. In the slide out, you'll see here, we're gonna have, again, great storage, this nice uh, rippled glass effect on here, but great storage in here. Wonderful thing to have, more windows letting in a lot of light. And then here, you're going to have your sofa. Very comfortable sofa, you can see it's gonna have a nice pillow back, uh, perfect spot to sit and watch your TV. And also, if you do have uh, additional guests that are staying, they may be a little bit too big for the dinette, not a problem, they can go ahead and sleep on the sofa, that will pull out for them. As we move into the kitchen, we're gonna have nice large Dometic fridge and freezer. It's gonna be eight cubic foot, so you have plenty of space in here. Uh, you get some adjustable shelves in here, and then these shelves in the door are gonna be removable as well. This will run off both propane and electric, and it is going to have automatic switchover. So if it's running off propane, you plug it into shore power, it will switch over to electric for you, which is going to save you some gas. Here's gonna be our microwave. There's the weight on it, 6,200 pounds, not bad. For having seven foot ceilings, full slide out, two bunks, that's a pretty good weight for this bad boy. You're also gonna have additional storage here. You get an extra shelf in there too. Fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Great prep space here. You'll notice you're gonna have your uh, plug-in. So if you do wanna plug in a coffee maker, blender, anything, you're able to do so. Again, great countertop space. Three burner stove top here. This will be an Atwood burner, so you do get uh, better flame control on here than you do on some of the uh, other models. Also, you'll notice nice large oven for baking goods there and you get a very large drawer underneath, which is perfect for pots and pans. Next to that, you're gonna get a bank of three full extension drawers on here. Definitely a must have, that way you have a place for your silverware. And I tell you what, you'd be surprised by how many units do not have that. 
Oh, the, uh, to round out our kitchen here, we're gonna have again, great prep space, great countertop space, another plug in here. Uh, again, you know, for any other appliances you wanna plug in, you will have a double bowl sink, and then you're gonna have this beautiful stainless steel high rise uh, pull out faucet. So you'll have your control right on here, nice and easy to use. And then it is gonna come equipped with your sink top covers. Those are great, they're gonna utilize the, the most out of your countertop space, or you can flip them over and use them as cutting boards. And and then when you're done, you just flip them right back. You can go ahead and put them back on the sink. They'll look beautiful and no one will ever know. Underneath, you're gonna have great storage. Take a look there. Perfect storage spot there. Excellent place for a trash can, right? And you have more storage here, as well as a very large drawer right here. Then up top, all the way around, we have more storage. Right, fan there. It's getting a little hot in here, folks. Great storage right there. More storage up here. Can't have enough storage, you never can. Also here you'll see we have uh, our controls, our thermostat here. Uh, right here is gonna be our main panel with our awning, our lights, it'll have our slide out, as well as our water heater. This will run off of gas or electric, so you can choose here, or you can put them both on for higher recovery. Also your water pump control will be here, and then your tank monitoring system as well. All right, let's head up front, we'll check out the bedroom. In the bedroom, you are gonna have a queen bed, so you'll have plenty of room. Don't have to worry about throwing elbows into each other, waking each other up at night. And then underneath, like I mentioned, we were outside, you get great storage. Again, uh, this will be strut supported in here, so you don't have to sit here and hold it. And then you do have access from both outside as well as right in here. If we take a look flanking both sides of the bed, you'll see you have this nice countertop space, great shelving there. Uh, the thing I love about that is both of them are going to have electrical outlets. So that way if you have any electronics you wanna plug in at night, you can go ahead and charge your phone, your iPad, or if you have a CPAP machine, you can plug that in and you can sleep on either side of the bed. You don't have to pick one side or the other. Also on both sides, you're going to get nice uh, hanging wardrobe space. It's gonna be nice and deep as well as tall. That way you can fit full length shirts in there. As we go across the top, also this is gonna be very usable space. A lot of your trailers will have this top storage, but it's gonna be pretty minimal. Because of your high ceilings, you actually get great space in there. Last but not least, of course, again, we're gonna have our uh, door here, not just a curtain. We'll have windows on both sides so you get a nice cross breeze coming through. And then you will have hookups right up here in case you want a TV in the bedroom. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, this is a 2016 Shasta Revere 29 SK. Beautiful floor plan. You have the huge bunks in back. You get the slide out with a ton of room, huge ceilings, huge slides. Everything in here is gonna be quality. You definitely wanna come and check it out. If you do have any questions, please go ahead and leave a comment on the video, or you can give us a call here at American RV, and we'll be happy to answer them that way as well. Thanks, folks. I hope you have a great camping season, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.